Hello, everybody. A pleasure, a pleasure to present, and um, thank you very much for the invitation. Actually, I was uh, I was a guest of the room troubling about um, a year, a year and a half ago, for a few days. If you remember those days before Corona, <laughs> that we were allowed to travel, so it was quite nice. And hopefully, next time, next year, I will be able physically to visit your lovely area again. Um, okay, so quickly about Bina, we are an Israeli company. Um, we are about 74 people in staff. We are a B2B company. Uh, our market recognition is very, very strong uh, recently. Basically, what Bina can do, Bina can swap any of your phone, um, telephone, um, uh, tablet, or computer into a medical device. So I want actually to share my phone. Let me do it from my phone. So we, we have developed um, a technology. We are, um, we are not an application company. We are an SDK company, meaning that eventually if one of uh, our customers would like to, to use us, we provide them the technology, and then they embed the technology into their existing, typically, application. So we become part of his application, and we are white label, meaning nobody actually knows that this is Bina. You can see here some of our customers. We have about 70 customers, by the way, worldwide, uh, including in Germany, and I will talk about it in a second. Uh, so I, in order to demonstrate the capabilities, I'm gonna open our application. And once it's open, it allows you to measure yourself or to take your vitals in two ways. Number one, by clicking this blue heart, this will activate the front-facing camera. The system will look at this area, my upper cheeks, because this is where the the skin is quite thin and identify the pace of the flow of the blood under my skin. Um, this is option number one. Option number two will be use finger. Not surprisingly, I will have to use my finger. And then actually the back camera of my phone will be activated. I will simply place my finger on the back camera and the data will come from my finger. So let me start. I'm gonna hit now the blue heart. I'm about half a meter away from the phone. You see my hands are here. There's a small delay I see on Zoom, but, but I'm sure it's, it's okay. Now, about eight seconds into the test, my heart rate will be extracted. About 15 seconds into the test, the oxygen level in my blood. 30 seconds into the test, the respiration level over here, the number of breathing per minute, and then over here, you can see a timeline. The timeline hinted towards a total duration of 70 seconds, one minute and 10 seconds. After which the session will be completed. It will be stopped. And then the final two parameters, which are the HRV, heart rate variability, or to be more precise, the standard deviation of the heart rate variability will be calculated. And from this, we will adopt the Bayevsky stress index in order to identify what is my mental stress right now. Let's give you more seconds and then actually you can see the report which is being generated by the system. Okay, so you see my heart rate is a bit higher than usual but one can understand because I'm presenting now. This is the oxygen level. My stress level is normal. Typically it's low, now it's normal. And my respiration is, is pretty okay and this is my HRV. Now I'm picking up my phone now and I'm gonna hit the use finger button. Now I'm gonna hit the start, flashlight open, and I'm simply placing my finger on the back camera. The exact same data with the exact same of pace of collecting the data will be calculated, but this time from my finger. So again, for the heart rate, we need to wait eight seconds. For the oxygen level, 15 seconds. Respiration will come after 30, and the remaining age of VSDNN and the mental stress, which is derived from that, immediately after. Now, if I'm I will leave my finger. You see, eventually it's around the 84. It will stop because this is where it's coming from. So let me stop here, and I need to go out of Zoom. Yeah and share my computer. So this was a live demonstration of the system. What you've just seen is, again, to reiterate, 
is our ability to promote in a continuous fashion or to, to provide the heart rate, the oxygen, and the respiration after a total duration of 30 seconds. And if for your own solution, these are the only parameter you need, actually you need to wait 35 seconds and then you can actually stop the session and get the report. Some of our customers are also looking for the mental stress and HRV. And for this, you need to wait at least one minute. So this is what we have already used by, as I said, about 40 million end users all over the world with about 70 customers. Again, we are a B2B company. Now, this is what we have. This is the roadmap. The roadmap is very, very strong. We have uh, blood pressure and hemoglobin level due to be released next quarter, body temperature, um, a quarter after blood sugar level, which is a major milestone. By the way, with blood pressure, we are that close of releasing it. Uh, we actually have it. We just need to work on, uh, on, on the accuracy a bit more. Uh, blood sugar level and finally alcohol blood level, which will be released by the end of this year. This is what we expect to have. We might expedite the progress a bit more, but, we are, but at least in order to be safe, this is the roadmap. Now, when it comes to telemedicine, so telemedicine is just one of the use cases which is being utilized today. Um, you can either use the BINA as a um, triage or pre-session type of diagnostic, meaning I'm about to start a telesession with my doctor. I will be asked to take a measurement. Once it's finished, the results will be uh, shoot to the doctor and then the session will start or in real time while I'm talking to the doctor. Both are possible in this technology. Let's talk about accuracy. Obviously, accuracy is key. Um, and over here, you can see on the bottom, you can see the error level that we have. BINA is a complete medical grade level solution. Um, the accuracy versus gold standard, i.e. FDA grade um, medical devices is about 97, 98%. We are already certified as a medical device in two countries. We have the TGA from Australia and the SHAPA from South Africa. But with all due respect to those two certificates, we are working very, very hard in order to get the, U, the FDA 510K and CE mark. I'm talking about a class two non-invasive um, certification. These are some of the clinical facilities that we are conducting the clinical studies. So BINA is a complete medical as a service solution. Over here, you can see some of the use cases. So starting with um, telehealth or telemedicine, RPM, remote patient monitoring. We are being used by many customers for COVID screening. Not that BINA can identify whether they have corona, but we can highlight or flag a potential risk of me having corona due to very high, very low level of oxygen and very high level of heart rate, respiration rate, which might hint at that my body is fighting against the virus. Uh, now to summarize the technology, we are accessible from anywhere. We are looking at reflections of light from the skin. So the skin tone or the skin color is completely irrelevant. We are a medical grade level solution. We can work both in a remote version or a finger version. And very importantly, we're running on the edge, which means that it's a standalone technology that we now will never be able to get exposure into the data of your patient, even if we want. I will finish with just a few examples. Again, I have about 70 to show, but I will show three or four in respect of time. So one, the first one is Generali, Generali Germany, that is. There is a press release. You can look for it for yourself. Generally, Germany will launch a very big solution uh, and the key technology is BINA. This will be on April, so in about a month and a half from now. Instant Vital, this is one of the example of fighting against Corona. This is certified uh, by Chapra already, and it's what we call back to, which means allowing, for instance, your employees to scan themselves at home and to identify the risk level, as I said before, of you, heaven forbid, infected with Corona. Sompo, another insurance company, they're using us for the, mainly for the mental stress and the heart rate. Momentum, the second largest insurance group in South Africa and also in India, they're using us for COVID screening, for telemedicine, for wellness program, to identify fatigue at customers and even reward system for uh, their customers. Uh, openly, again, business continuity slash COVID solution, they are certified by TGA, it's a public company called Emerald Clinic. 
And just to finish with a smile, we're also working with a cannabis company from Israel called Cannabotech. I know it's cannabis, but it's a very serious uh, company. And basically they, uh, based on mushroom and CBD substance, they have developed about 20 drugs, um, even curing cancer. And, and based on the Bina reading, they will run triage to customers. And based on the readings coming from Bina, they will identify which of the 20 drugs might help you with your specific condition. So I will finish with that. I can talk for an hour more, Sebastian, but I think I should stop now. Are there any questions from the audience? The floor is yours. Then that's me again. I wanted to know from you, what do you mean by cancer treatment? I mean, uh, that's a difficult topic. I think it's, um, yeah, a severe topic and I cannot understand what um, this device should help with that. Okay, so we, uh, it's of course Cannabotech, the company develop uh, um, some, a, a treatment for cancer using uh, CBD, the CBD substance in the, cannab in the cannabis uh, and mushroom. And we are helping them to identify whether you are sick or not. And if you are sick, what can help you? I'm just saying out of the 20 drugs that they have developed, one, one of those drugs are against cancer. But it's not that Bina can identify cancer, of course not. What we can identify is the five parameter that I showed you, which I can show you again. Uh, and from this, our customer, we are not doing any analysis meaning we will hand to all of our customers what we're handing, the raw data of the heart rate, the oxygen, the respiration, the mental stress and the heart rate variability. And they do the interpretation of what does it actually mean or they actually they use it the way they see fit according to their business. Does that answer your question, doctor? Not really, because I know we, we use, we are in Germany, we have this uh, also ca cannabis extracts for cancer patients when they don't have any appetite or so, but um, it doesn't have very many indications. Mm, and, I but I don't want to go into a deeper discussion because that's a topic that could fill a whole afternoon. Well, I we, can take it off, we can take it uh, offline, uh, doctor, and we discuss and then we can, I will be able to explain. Okay. That's um, a very good idea. So are there any other questions? Um, if not, I, of course, um, have I one. I do have a question. Yeah, sure. Please go uh, ahead. So this is Michael Friebe. I'm an investor and a professor of medical technology in Germany. And I'm, I, I just have to say, I congratulate you. This is an awesome thing you have done. Uh, are you actually planning to create some APIs so uh, you can connect to the, uh, to the information? You can use it then in, in combination with other sensoric information. Uh, using CNNs or some other forms of machine learning approaches so you can get more information out of it? Is there something you plan? Uh, yeah, absolutely. We are an SDK company. So basically we provide you a number of APIs. It's a completely open platform. You as a potential customer, you can take our SDK, take additional SDK from other technologies and then bring them together, of course. Okay, very good. So I'll send you, I'll direct mail you um, some information. I'll be very interested in that. Thank you. Okay. Great. Uh, one, one, one question. My name is Isma Maestro from Kaufmannische Krankenkasse. Uh, yeah. Alan, um, uh, just one question to the use case um, uh, you presented uh, with um, uh, Generali. We have in, in Germany uh, a lot of restrictions. Um, um, yes, um, vinculated to, to personal data and uh, to um, yes match it to, to pricing, etc. Did you had uh, did you have uh, any uh, problems uh, to get this um, 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 through and to uh, to imp impl implement it in uh, in the German market or just just tell me a little bit about the uh, your your yes um, uh, your your use case in this case? Sure. So let me start by uh, uh, re-emphasizing th something. We are running on the edge, which means that once our SDK is integrated into Generali, for instance. We are not part of the game at all. The data, in order for the system to work, there's no need for any internet connection or cloud access. We are using the computation power of the mobile device itself. So it's a standalone installation where Bina is not part of the game at all. Now, in any case, since we are a medical uh, solution, we are HIPAA, we as a company, we are HIPAA and GDPR compliant. Nevertheless, to your question specifically regarding Generali, I'm quite confident that Generali have done all the preparation, 
uh, all the GDPR rules uh, in Germany, which I know data security is extremely tough over there, uh, uh, to follow whatever is necessary, but it's not our game. It's the game of our customer to make sure that they are not, I don't know, breaking any rules, so to speak. Okay, thank you very much. Sure. Okay, one last question. Um, so coming back to your roadmap, do you have any plans on using additional sensors or will it all be just um, uh, using the smartphone or your, um, uh, your smart device? So a good question. So we are, we're going to use the same technology, meaning all you need is just your smartphone. We're going to use either the front camera, what we call the selfie camera or the back camera. Um, the only exception would be body temperature. Still, it, what we, we will need is only your, your phone, but we're going to harness the NIR, which is the near infrared capability of smart device of uh, smartphones. So in the case of all other solutions, just a standard telephone. In the case of body temperature, we're going to need probably a, the latest uh, devices with NIR capabilities. But this is the exception.